Hi, this is Rob from Explorer Travel, and I'm at the Dive Show 2009 at the NEC in Birmingham with uh, Kat from Techstream Diving, and they're an, they're an arm of Emperor Divers who do the, the technical stuff. Hello, Kat. Hi, how you doing? Not bad, not bad. Good, good. Okay, um, what I want to do, if you can just explain a little bit about the technical diving services that, uh, that we can provide through Emperor Divers, because myself, I'm not a technical diver, I just do a bit no of problem. nitrox and, and that's it, so yeah. um, I'm, a, I'm a bit as much in the dark as a lot of other people on, on this one. No problem, I mean, I mean Emperor has been offering recreational diving for the last sort of 16 or so years, and probably over the last uh, seven years of that, the, uh, the arm of technical diving has been, uh, has been growing quite rapidly, um, to the point that the, the tech stream company, if you like, this technical arm of Emperor Divers has developed and grown over those years to uh, support the needs of the technical divers, um, be it uh, open circuit divers on the tanks or rebreather divers or, um, you know, we can offer from the very basic courses you said, I mean, technically you, you are already a technical diver, <laughs> Nitrox does count as technical diving, um, you know, all the way up to uh, the, the advanced Trimix divers who want to do the 100 meter dive, mm -hmm. so it was, uh, it's a growing area. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen some big developments over the last couple of years um, as more awareness is there now of technical diving. It's not considered to be a, as much as a, a voodoo activity as, mm -hmm. uh, as many years beforehand. Yeah. Um, and individual companies now such as Techstream are growing independently to support those needs of the divers that are out there. And yeah. you're based in Hagada, and because I, I, I remember, I, that's where I learned to dive many, many years mm -hmm. ago. It was with Divers Lodge, not Emperor Diver. <laughs> but um, I, I can remember there was somebody, some people used to jump off the boat and say, what are they doing? And, oh, they're going down to 70 metres, and this is in the late 90s, so it's, it's a few years ago. So it's, it's been around for a while, hasn't it? But uh, I know you do see more rebreathers appearing on boats and things like that now. I mean, exactly that. It is becoming more of a, of a popular activity. Now there is more... Uh, equipment readily available, mm -hmm. there's more advertising, there are more magazine articles, people are actually now actually being given the correct information as to mm -hmm. what is technical diving. Uh, one of the big misconceptions is that technical diving is just about diving deep. Well, like, actually, I mean, that's, that's not the case, that is a part of it, mm -hmm. that by becoming a technical diver it enables you to dive to deeper depths than recreationally, but mainly it's just about time in the water. Mm -hmm. You know, we have many wrecks within the Red Sea that they're not deep, they're only maybe 30 meters. Yeah. But as a recreational diver, your time on them, even with using enriched air, is, is still limited. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the, the Thistlegorm wreck, which Back, is yeah. one of the most dived wrecks in, in the world. And as a recreational diver, if you only get to spend one day there with two dives, you don't yeah. even really do the wreck justice in itself. Hands up, I've gone into deco on the Thistle Gorm. Exactly. It, it, you're, you know, you're, you're, in, you're in the holds and, and yeah. you, if you're lighting on your yeah. computer, you come out and... Exactly. Yeah. You're not the first, you won't be the last. Um, but by making it as, as a technical dive, then it's done mm. in, in a safe manner and you don't have the restrictions. I mean, we're based actually in all three of the resorts. We're based okay. in Sharm El Sheikh through Emperor, uh, we're based in Hogada through Emperor and in the resort of Marsar Alam as well. Um, yeah. We also are offering the, the technical safaris mm -hmm. on the Emperor Liverboard boats as well. I mean, yeah. that's a big growing market there. There's a lot of dive sites within the Red Sea from the north all the way down to the deep south. Mm -hmm. um, wrecks, again, lying between the 50 metre mark to 100 metre mark. Yeah, cause there are there are a huge, like you say, there are a huge number of wrecks, especially just the north of the guard of that sort exactly. of area. I mean, uh... And these is what people want to dive mm -hmm. now. Um, now we spoke about rebreather divers. Now over the last couple of years, you are seeing more and more people make inquiries about rebreather diving, or they've already taken the courses. Mm -hmm. I mean, simply walking around the show today, the amount of new rebreathers that are now coming onto the market—it's um, it's amazing volume of them now, and all different. So you know, for the the technical diver, there's so many options mm -hmm. out there to actually suit the the divers' needs. So. Yeah, it's a really big growing market and hopefully, um, you know, we can capture all of that and provide people, technical divers in the Red Sea with exactly what they want to do. Um, but and if somebody wants to do, to try technical diving, say if I came to Hagada, could I just take, go out with a rebreather for the day just to see what it was like? Is that possible? Like you can do a try dive before you start to learn scuba diving. Is it possible to do that with technical diving as well? Yeah. I mean, for sure, any, mm -hmm. anything like that is, is possible. Now, technical diving is, is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. 
but I do believe that everybody should at least try it before they make the decision because there are these um, you know the, the average opinion of a technical diver is is usually a male usually between sort of 30 and 50 <laughs> usually with a beard usually wearing dark clothing with black fins and a black snorkel um, but you know technical diving is changing um, a lot of more females are now yeah, coming into I've, technical I've seen diving a lot of girls on re yeah. using um, I think the big misconception before was that we can't be a technical diver because we can't carry everything that we need well a little bit more knowledge and a little bit more education about technical diving has actually shown well it's not all about that either no. so for sure people are welcome in, in all okay. three of the resorts to do if you like a, a tech tri dive or a rebreather tri dive to actually see if it is for them and then they'll decide if they want to continue because I, I think one of the attractions I've, I'm still toying with the idea about rebreathers myself but mm. one of the things I, I love to take photos and when we went with Upton Away with Jim that was yeah. a great place to do it the bubbles on an open circuit that can frighten the fish to a degree I don't know if it's more of a myth or anything but no. I just feel if you're, you're on a closed circuit like a it, rebreather you, you'll be able to get closer to the marine life and yeah. not disturb them if you, it, if you it, it does indeed I mean bubbles with marine life and cameras really don't actually go together that well <laughs> Um, all the marine life uh, is actually very curious of us as divers mm -hmm. but as soon as we exhale the bubbles go out they don't like it and they will just turn the back on you and swim away so by having the rebreather and still making slow movements in the water mm -hmm. still not you know really rapid movements you can get very close to the marine life um, and you'll find the marine life is very curious mm -hmm. and as long as you're quiet peaceful no sounds sure. no bubbles I mean, I think some of the, the best photography that's now done in the world underwater it's, is by rebreather divers. So if you're a photographer and want to improve, that's something to, to look. Obviously, you need your buoyancy control and everything, but uh, no, re with closed circuit rebreathers is, is another step yeah, forward. I mean, I don't, think, uh, I don't think it can ever go back to, to open circuit for photographers. <laughs> uh, you know, they get the closest shots, they get the best shots. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no question about that. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay, well that's good. Well, if you want to ask a little bit more about uh, technical diving in Haggadah or Sharm El Sheikh or Master Alam, you can contact uh, Explorer Travel and we'll set you up with Emperor Divers. And our website is www.redsea.explorertravel.co.uk. And if you just nav navigate through the, the diving menus, you'll find the pages there for it. Okay, thanks, Kat. Thank you very much. Cheers.